So look at this regression we have estimated. So we regress the uh, dummy variable whether a job was found within six months on this dummy variable whether indicated whether the job seeker was actually two to three actually got intensive job counseling. Now the problem is that in this regression we most likely have unobserved confounders that lead to a bias in our old SSC meta beta one hat and we will not really measure the causal effect of getting intensive job counseling on the probability to find a job. And while the option to, to get intensive job counseling was perfectly randomized, the decision whether to accept the intensive counseling probably depends on characteristics of the job seeker and of his unemployment situation, but those characteristics can also directly affect the probability to find a job. So this basically means we have in this error term UI those characteristics of the job seeker that affect uh, the decision to accept the treatment, but also that directly affect the probability to find a job. So in this regression, our treated I experimental variable is endogenous, so I can correlate it with UI, and so our S estimator beta one hat is only a biased, inconsistent estimator of the true causal effect. Um, the sign of the bias is also not obvious. One could think of, of different stories. For example, you could think that a job seeker who knows that he can easily find a, a good new job um, may be more likely to reject the intensive counseling because he just don't find it necessary. You could also think that um, counseling may be systematically rejected by demotivated job seekers who anyway have given up hope to find a job and then they don't want to bother with the intensive counseling anymore. In the quiz, think about what would be the direction of the bias in our old SSC meta beta one hat if the only reason that job seekers reject the counseling would be either the first or the second story.